Hello my dear friends, in this video I'm going to discuss with you tight tables, right? So launch your program ATT Admiralty Digital Total Tide this one and you will see your areas, right? Um, how to print is I will take you to for so just uh, here, Bangkok How to print is you have to uh, just click on your port okay and it will open up your page with heights with this uh, for uh, this kind of interval with the graph heights and how to print is very simple right click on it and give print and it will be uh, printed by the default printer if you need to change your printer say if you want a color printout or something go to file and print setup and change your printer here as you desire portrait landscape you can change your settings as you desire right and remember the time here now uh, uh, Thailand time is GMT plus 7 so it is automatically coming because I'm keeping my um, computer also on GMT time but even if you change your time zone it doesn't change for example if I Will show you which is time now we are in Singapore let's go to plus 8 and see if nothing happened right it is still the same same uh, data same thing so I will uh, see here also the same huh? so I will switch back to the GMT time since that is easier for me <coughs> and uh, that is as simple as that but what I want to show you here is tidal streams say in Singapore straight when you come when you come from east side and westbound and if you come from west eastbound you will encounter strong currents say you are coming from east and westbound right at Horsburg lighthouse you will see you, you can also print out the same way now you see you see time zone has changed to uh, relevant uh, Singapore time zone right start, now it's uh, 3 p.m. here so it starts from here, 3 p.m. local time and you now you see you can change your uh, hour uh, you can change your time intervals by me by uh, uh, at uh, one hour intervals or by by clicking the single arrow by clicking the double arrow you can change the time to see how uh, to see the prediction of currents how it behaves by six hour intervals you see how it changes uh, now completely change the direction right now it's nothing let's say now for next six hours it's moving southwest and the next six hours it's completely change in direction and moving north east right so if so this is helpful when you come from this side and you want to you want to uh, print out the table click on this arrow the tidal stream arrow and you will see it here and go to the you can find slack app uh, tides here and the rates just click, right click and give print okay and here also same say uh, say you are uh, coming from here from west and find out you see how it behaves right? completely the direction of arrows that means direction of currents change right click on tidal stream and you can see see how it changes huh? and now you have jammed up the time say like this okay and you want to bring the time back to original time just click uh, this green button it says predict for now and it it will bring you back to your present time so that is how you uh, print out so this kind of uh, tidal stream is very very uh, apparent in English channel also you see you can see how it changes how the direction you can you see, all getting stronger, getting 
I'm sorry, my video got interrupted. I'm I'm now sick of this iPhone. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't record at all. I okay, never mind. Okay, so you can uh, can see how the current behaves. Okay, and you have jammed up the time. Also, you can change the time by by uh, manually by entering the times by uh, entering the times manually or by the arrows and the date everything you can change okay so to bring back to the present time just click um, the green arrow and okay we will see yeah you see it's it's uh, now zero because it's GMT right so I hope uh, this is helpful because actually this is uh, this is typically helpful uh, for a fresher because on my very first contract uh, approaching Singapore Strait captain asked me to find out the tidal streams and the current because uh, he want to give exact ETA then I had to struggle with the program because I all all that time I I knew only how to print out for the for the uh, the, the tight table for the for for any particular port, and then I I realized okay, clicking on the arrows or the diamonds will print you the current, not only the tides but the current, right? So wherever there are arrows and tidal stream uh, diamonds, that is the current, and then you click on these boxes that is the tide table okay i hope this is helpful for a fresher those who have experience is never mind they know and uh, my exercise is to make the freshers job easier and uh, boost confidence okay i hope this is uh, good enough guys thanks for watching let's keep uh, sharing keep subscribing keep watching and keep uh, expanding knowledge thank you for watching keep subscribing.